Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to reset the VBT learned values on newer Subarus. Now, this is covered under Service Bulletin 02-163-16R, and we're going to cover some of the stuff in the bulletin, but not all of it. The codes that we are doing the reset for is the P0016, 17, 18, and 19, and those are camshaft position correlations for each of the camshafts. There's four camshafts on these motors. Some of them, only two of them are monitored. Other ones, all four of them are monitored. So depending on which vehicle you have, you may have any one of these four codes. Now this normally comes up after a repair has been made and you still have the code. The service bulletin says basically if you have this code and the learned value is above whatever the maximum is in the table that they give in the bulletin, that you need to replace the ECM until we found a way to reset it with an aftermarket scan tool. Now this method will work on almost all the Subarus in the bulletin except for the Subaru BRZ. That one has a different ECM. Um, it's shared with the Toyota FRS and we do not have a aftermarket scan tool method of resetting those. You can reset those with some more expensive coding tools but we're not gonna cover that in this video. Now, before resetting these, I did read the values with the factory scan tool just to show you guys the factory scan tool and what it looks like. But you can read these with the aftermarket scan tools. You'll find this information just under data. But here we have the VVT initial position learning value 1 and 2, that's for the intake, and then 1 and 2 for the exhaust. Our intakes are real close to 80. Our exhaust is around 110. This one's a little low. But... They're all within, within the normal operating range for this vehicle. And what we're gonna do is we're going to reset them. They're gonna go back to zero. It takes about a mile long test drive on some of these vehicles for these numbers to repopulate, but that's okay. Because if you're out of range, sometimes these numbers will not self adjust back into the normal range. You'll have a permanent code. The Subaru Service Bulletin says to replace the ECM. So to get around that, we're gonna use an aftermarket tool we're going to clear the values and let them relearn. And today we're gonna to be using the Autel 906 TS. All the Autel platforms will look similar to this. Depending on which version you have, the screen may be slightly different, but the method is the same. So I'm connected to the vehicle. I did check the learn values with the OEM scan tool. Uh, we'll go ahead and check them with the Autel as well. So we're gonna to go to diagnosis, control unit, ECM. Let's check the data. We'll go to live data. All data. We'll scroll down to VVT initial learning values. So for our intakes, we're 78 and 79. Exhaust, we are 107 and 110. So let's go back. We're going to go to special functions and we need this test mode change. But in order to enable this and have this work properly, we need to install a fuse under the hood. In the underhood fuse panel, there is a fuse location. There's normally a fuse installed here or they install it at the dealer for testing the cooling fans and everything else. Um, a lot of times they come with pre-installed and then the technician after they do their pre-delivery inspection will remove this fuse and put it in a spare slot. So we are going to install a fuse. Now the value doesn't really matter. We're just basically telling the computer to enter test mode. Now on this particular vehicle, there's some white paint on that fuse location. Most vehicles do have that, um, but some of them don't. And depending on the year, this location is in different places around the fuse block. Turn the ignition back on. So transition is going to be made into check mode once we hit the OK button. Transition to check mode has been complete. Press OK. Now we have a flashing check engine light up on the dash. And what's the other flashing light? Security light. Now let's go back. Trouble codes. We're going to erase codes. Ignition on, engine off, yes. 
Yes. So it cleared the codes. They want us to turn the key off for 15 seconds. Depending on the system, wait up to one minute. So we're gonna turn the key off. Now, some of these vehicles, I've actually had to wait 30 seconds to get them to clear properly. So I'm going to turn the ignition off. Now, we're, while we're waiting, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that fuse from under the hood, because um, we're actually exiting test mode now. Turn the key back on. Okay, now let's go look at our learned values and data. Now, since we haven't started the car yet, they should be zero. So they are zeroed out. If we start the vehicle up, sometimes they will populate quite quickly. Sometimes you have to drive the vehicle. So now we're just gonna check those positions with the factory scan tool again, just to show you that it's not an aftermarket tool trick. The factory scan tool does indeed show that our values have been reset. They are all reset to zero. They will take about a mile test drive on some vehicles to repopulate. Some will repopulate just by starting them, letting them run for 30 or 40 seconds. But this particular one takes about a mile long test drive to reset. Okay, after one mile of driving, the numbers did populate. Our numbers are slightly different than before, so it didn't just repopulate with the same numbers. But this does prove that we can reset those numbers using an aftermarket scan tool we do not have to replace the ECM. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, put those down below. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe, click the bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.